Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel back. My uh, neighbor is running a leaf blower right now. I hope it doesn't uh, interfere too much with the with the audio. Uh, if you've been following my series of videos, you saw in the, in the last clip, 06, uh, proceeded with uh, 06, uh, the construction progress of the roller bearing raceway underneath the rotor assembly, which is this bobbin assembly right here. Um, I've put together a lever with a roller bearing on the end of it, ground the head of the screw a little bit so that it uh, makes it more shallow, and you get a pretty good idea of what that looks like. Now the intent is obviously to put it against, damn headphones are falling off, alright, put it in here, and I'm just going to hold my finger in place, this is the first test to uh, demonstrate the action, here we go, I wanted to give you a better side view of this, because it is pretty cool, I'm just going to move it closer to the camera, the bearing is centered pretty well on the raceway underneath the rotor, right inside here, and I'm just holding my finger in one of the holes of this strap of metal to act as a fulcrum and I wanted to test to see how much displacement I got on the back end of this lever right here. I need approximately, I'm going to show you about how much movement I need on the back of this lever to affect the amount of switching that I need on the stator magnet. So I need about this much movement on the back and with the raceway height levels as they are now it is working it is working very nicely actually creating very little resistance but I don't think the amount of travel is going to be enough to actuate the stator barely adequate so <coughs> I'll be sliding the bobbin off fortunately it disassembles very easily and just doing something like this whereas this was the original raceway I'll be taking a wider pair of pliers and making the ramps a little bit taller so I have plenty of room underneath the rotor to do that and uh, that should give me the displacement that I need to actuate the lever on the back here and I will just simply be joining these two pieces on the back end with a piece of mechanical linkage that hinges so that as as this moves down they both move together like that. There's the progress. I'll uh, update this video shortly. Hopefully I have some good news for you. Thank you.